What is going on guys? It's Mitch here aka Royal Bacchus and today I have a little video that I want to do something that caught my eye. I've been trying to get into I guess you'd call it anime horror or horror anime. Anyways it's a genre that I've been trying to figure out how to get into and I have finally found something uh, that seems to have caught my interest which is I'm going to try and pronounce his name Junji Ido Maniac Japanese Tales of the Macabre and the Strange I can't even say the last part, but anyways, this thing that uh, I, I found, it's short stories, I'm guessing. I've l read a little bit into it and stuff like that, and I think this is a good introduction for me, um, and I'm also using this as an excuse for you guys to drop down in the comments some other examples of horror. Like, I don't know much about Japanese, oh, sorry, anime horror or horror anime. Uh, I know Japanese make great horror movies that I've watched throughout the years and I'm a big horror fan But this is one kind of blind spot that I think I have um, in the anime Viewing right I, it's just something that I've never gotten into I've looked into some things and it always seems to end up being more or less like Horror themes like it has darker themes in it rather than it being actual the hor actually being the horror genre so today I'm going to be doing a little reaction. I'm only doing one reaction, one video. Um, I'm going to go and do the top rated episode out of the 12 that they have for us here. And uh, then after that, I'm going to watch all 12 of them and I'll do a little review and I'll try and get it out uh, by the midweek of next week. So we'll get through all of this. Uh, I'm going to do a little reaction for you guys before I get started. If you want to drop a like and subscribe down below, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, bring new content every couple days throughout the week. And uh, I got some Twitter, Discord, and Instagram down the links for you as well. I'm gonna get started here and make sure to drop a comment about some other horror movies slash TV shows that you could throw to me just so I have an idea of where I could go, uh, go next after watching this. So, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get into it. So we're gonna be doing Hanging Balloon. That's a top rated one. Um, apparently it's also his best story one of his top stories that he wrote there's gonna be someone that i'm gonna have to get really into after i'm done watching this because i've been reading the comments and stuff how this show doesn't actually capture uh what he's made junju junji ito that's gonna take me a while to get but this is definitely not what i thought this was gonna start off as You would think that they would try and make like an atmosphere at the beginning of the show instead of this. I don't even know how to explain what this was. What the hell? All right. Oh. Jesus. That's not the girl that was knocking on her window. Damn。自分の部屋から身を乗り出して、あの電線にロープを巻きつけたものと思われます。遺書は発見されてないということですが、グループの自主では以前から霊能活動に悩んでいたとのことです。All of her fans and stuff like that. ただいまより長寿を頂戴。Now I want to know why she did it. So far, the animation and everything like that's been okay. I, I'm not really understanding the the complaints on that front, but obviously there is better, but I, I'm not complaining about it yet. Is 
捨ててるみ自殺なんかしちゃったんだろう<笑>学校じゃ悩んでいる感じなかったわよね、yeah. So she's basically the perfect specimen, and for some odd reason, she killed herself. Oh, they're turning on him. <laughs> you lose your girlfriend and then everyone starts blaming you? Oh, now I understand. Is she floating out the window? Oh boy. This is this going to be what he's talking about the balloon? What? What? Their heads float like balloons and they're all pop stars? And these things can talk. If that's what her, if that's her outside the window talking to her, these balloon people can talk. So. Oh, there it is. So she's literally floating in midair like a balloon with nothing attached to her at the bottom. And it's everywhere. <laughs> I would too. Okay, let's go. Oh, this is gonna be creepy as hell. in the hell <laughs> Is that actually her? <laughs> Seems like a very slow walk or run if she is What in the hell? Is that actually her or is it a... Okay. Okay. Oh my god.
and it takes it away. Holy shit. We went from zero to 100 really quick. Okay. I know that's not supposed to be funny, but... Imagine. So they become balloons, or these things that look like balloons when they die. More people. Crazy. Oh, no, they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> I would run. <laughs> what in the hell? <gasps> what is happening? <laughs> so those balloons were for them. That one with the glasses is freaky as all hell. <laughs> oh my god, get that one away. So it can. Dude, get back in the house. Who's gonna get a pin and pop them? <laughs> Let's go! Oh, it actually worked. That's so weird. Oh my god. All right, don't shoot the balloons. This is the craziest thing I've seen in a long time. So everyone Oh, and she's been stuck in the house the whole time Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh dude. So if you're outside, these thing things come and get you. Holy crap. 
謎の飛来物を消して傷つけたり火をつけたりしないようにとのことですもし破裂させたり燃やしたりしませんその顔の持ち主も同じ運命を受けるとのことです政府は緊急対策チームを設立しこの事態に当たる Is this all over the world? Like... 新しい情報は入り次第お伝えしますつくなんなんだよこれとにかく私は会社へ行ってくる今日中にやっておかないといけない仕事があるんだあなたお父さんやめて大丈夫<笑> Excuse me. 要は玄関から出て車に乗り込むまでに、no. Is that all? でもじゃあ行ってくれ6時には帰るから Why do I feel like he's gonna step right out the door and that's it? Oh no! Oh no! I don't think he has control over that. Oh my god, and then their faces are staring back at them. What are these things? No! Wait. Smart? Okay. I guess the other balloons just don't attack. Other people, unless they look like them. <laughs> oh, we're getting close. What in the hell? So I guess mom gave up. Her brother's still alive, though. I didn't see the brother die. Oh no. Don't do it. Wait, what? No. Oh. <gasps> Shut the window, shut the window, shut the window, shut the window. Shut the window! Shut the window! Alright, so that was extremely abstract. I don't... I don't really know what to say uh, about it on the first go. It's it's very out there. Um, I wish there's a few things. I I now understand a little bit about the uh, the animation. There's a few kind of janky parts that I would say I wouldn't go full tilt like some other people are saying that it's like really bad animation and stuff like that. I wouldn't go that far, but I do see there are some scenes where I think there could be more detail or I think they it was a little rushed. And also on top of that, I'm not 100% sure because I will be honest, I haven't read the manga. I just found this out, I think, yesterday I was reading on it. Um, I would like an explanation. Like, I know that there's a lot of, like, Japanese folk tales and stuff like that. And I just wish this 
episode would have shown why this is happening or is it supposed to resemble something or it's just if, if i'm supposed to figure out what it is i need a little bit of hints because really in essence all that kind of came from that was these balloons that kind of happen that come they appear when you die but then all of a sudden they started appearing for people that were still alive. So it was a little confusing. I did like the idea, the aspect of the whole the, the whole episode and the story behind that, I thought was well done. I thought that was really good. But the explanation of why it was happening, I think was left kind of to the side a little bit. Now I could be wrong in the manga, it could be the exact same thing. No clue. I'm gonna actually go through and see if I can find some online and kind of read it and see, like compare the two and see what I think uh, about the manga versus the TV show. But all in all, I would say that episode, I'd give someone like a 6.5, maybe something like that. I think it could have been done. There's things that could have been done that could have really lifted that episode. But like I said, I'm going to go through all of them. I'll do a little review uh, for the middle of next week. And uh, yeah, before I leave, guys, if you want to drop a like, subscribe down below, be greatly appreciated. Bringing you content almost every day of the week or every couple of days of the week. I also got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram down the links for you down below. And make sure to drop a comment and let me know if there's other horror movies slash TV shows that I should watch because that is one genre that I really, really want to get into when it comes to anime. So let me know if you guys have any favorites or things that I should watch. And until next time, guys, see ya.